What is going on YouTube? This is I Talk OG here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video in this new episode of Unpopular Opinions. Rarity in Fortnite, it doesn't matter. So I just want to start off by saying that a lot of people have already messaged me on Twitter saying that the reason why I don't think rarity matters in Fortnite is because I don't own actually anything that's rare. Well, considering that I had the boneless emote before it came back and that was considered a rare item, I think I have some weight to this and it's not just like, oh, because I started in season six that I don't know what rarity even means. Like, it's not about that. I obviously know what rarity is i've had rare items my second account has crack shot on it and that is considered rare so i wish people would please you know let me talk and let me give my opinion on why i don't think rarity in fortnite actually matters so someone on twitter by the name of not stw for switch sent me a video for me to talk about so i thought that this was actually a good video to talk about so we're talking about kodak wk I don't know really much about him. All I know is that when I try to watch one of his item shop videos, I just, I couldn't deal with it. E Yo guys! Shut the fuck up! Like literally two seconds into a, an item shop video, it just made me cringe. And that's actually partially why I started making my item shop videos because I didn't want my videos to be super loud and obnoxious. So Kodak WK recently put out a video called Epic Releasing OG Items, Is It Necessary? In it, he discusses a lot of things that make some sense, but most of the time it just comes off as him being salty that some items that were in the item shop rotation, by the way, have come back. It kind of seems like he feels entitled to have some rare items in Fortnite, but it also seems like he does take the rarity in Fortnite way too seriously. So, as I'm watching the video, the first thing I notice is that he stole gameplay from Red Arcade, who them themselves stole gameplay from other streamers. So, I guess that's a good start for the video. So, in the beginning of the commentary, he talks about money. He thinks Epic Games re-releases items in the item shop for money. Not because fans ask for certain things to come back so they can use the skins for themselves or anything. It's gotta be about the money. I have a huge issue with this. Because in my opinion, Epic Games does not release items because it will make them money. Because if that were the case, wouldn't every single item in the game be in the item shop literally 24-7? Wouldn't Skull Trooper be in the item shop 24-7? If Epic Games only cared about money, they would flat out sell Renegade Raider all the battle pass items they could literally do that if they only just wanted money but clearly this isn't the case but this seems to be his main argument as to why epic games just brings back items it's only for the money and i highly disagree with that plus wouldn't epic games put the scythe in the shop months ago when they realized the demand for it they waited until halloween to re-release it he's seriously acting like epic games is targeting him by re-releasing items that he owns. The game and the world do not revolve around Kodak. They don't revolve around him, but he tends to act like he has some entitlement for owning said rare items, and I kind of can't take his argument seriously when he just says that. Also, he asks for a subscribe 45 seconds into the video with a big red subscribe text, so that's not sad or anything. He shows us his reactions to the shops where some of his rarest things come back. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, Criterion. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because I post these every single day. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh. Um. Uh. What? That's crazy. Limited edition Reaper pickaxe, and I thought that meant it was only going to be out last Halloween. You should only like items that you own because you actually like them, not because of rarity. And it's really funny to see him say that he liked Red Knight and the Reaper because of rarity. It actually happened to me with the Red Knight and the Reaper pickaxe. I had both of these, and they ended up coming back out. And, you know, I definitely did love the rarity of these, as, you know, not too many people had them, but now that they are re-released, everyone has them. Thanks, Epic. He proceeds to then say that Epic Games brings back OG uh, items back into the item shop because of money. He says that Epic Games does this to prevent account selling and trading. Epic Games actually has never 
publicly stated this because if that was actually the case they wouldn't have given people that bought skull trooper in 2007 a purple glow variant not to mention battle pass items are pretty sought after black knight would be something that someone would buy an account for but black knight will never be in the item shop due to battle pass exclusivity so yes epic games doesn't condone account selling and trading for the massive amount of scams it could cause but since they can't just sell everything all the time 24 7 some things will inevitably be rare and some of these items can never be accessible again unless they pull a rogue agent and not follow their own exclusivity rules but that being said, rarity literally doesn't matter. And just because you own something that is rare does not make you better than everybody else. It doesn't make you a better person. It doesn't make you a better player. It just means you literally got lucky by getting a skin that hadn't come out for a while or you paid money back when the game wasn't as big as it is today. That is literally all it means. So if you have something that is rare, that's great. I'm happy for you. But do keep in mind that it doesn't matter. It's a video game. There is no monetary value to these skins since you can't just sell your skins to players in a marketplace. You shouldn't be on this high horse for owning something rare anyway because yes rarity does exist in this game but you shouldn't take it seriously when you know that if it's an item shop item it can come back anytime and any day. And that's all I'm saying. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know with a like. I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on the bell just so you get all my latest uploads. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on Rarity in, in uh, Fortnite? Because, like I said, I do understand that Rarity has a place in this game, but people shouldn't be taking it seriously if they got something that was considered rare in the item shop, and then it came back in the item shop again, because literally it's on an item shop rotation. So, literally any item that has ever come out in the item shop can come back today it doesn't matter so I wish people would stop getting triggered by the fact that something that they own that was considered rare comes back to the item shop but I would really like to know what your guys thoughts on this are follow me on twitter at italkfortnite join the discord if you would like to use me for support a creator just use the word italkfortnite no spaces no capital letters and you will be supporting me whenever you buy something from the item shop so appreciated thank you so much have a good one guys see ya